Hi everyone, let's solve this problem very quickly. Solution, we have square root of x plus square root of x minus 9 equal to 9. Okay, now this is very simple. The first step I want to take is taking this um, square root of x to the other side. So I'm going to have square root of x minus 9 to be equal to 9 <clears throat> minus square root of x. And then the next thing I'm going to do is to remove this. I'll remove this square root by squaring and then the whole of this will also be squared. Now square root and square can cancel. So we have x minus 9 to be equal to 9 minus square root of x all squared. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to square the right hand side so that I will have x minus 9 equal to 9 minus square root of x into bracket 9 minus um, square root of x. Now x minus 9 will be equal to 9 times 9 which will give us um, 81. 9 times minus x minus root x that will give us minus 9 root x. Then minus root x times 9 will have minus 9 root x. Okay, then we have minus root x times minus root x. That will give us plus x. Yes, because negative negative will give us positive. Then root x times root x is the same thing as x. Now, let's take a step further. We have x minus 9 to be equal to 81 minus 18 root x. Meaning that minus 9 root x minus 9 root x will give us minus 18 root x. Then I have plus x over there. Now, this is x and this is x. They will cancel each other. So I have minus 9 to be equal to 81 minus 18 root x. Now what can I do from here? Let's collect like terms. So I have minus 9 minus 80. Okay, it's actually 81. Minus 9 minus 81 is equal to minus 18 root x. Now we have minus 90 to be equal to minus 18 root x. Now let's divide both sides by minus 18 so that we can have the value of um, root x. This and this will cancel. And now root x is equal to minus 90 divided by minus 18. Negative will cancel negative. And then root x will be equal to 5. And that is positive 5. But then we are looking for the value of x, so I have to square this side to remove the square root, then square the right hand side. This and this will cancel each other so that x is equal to 5 squared. And 5 squared will give us some 25. Now, are we correct? The, equa the equation was root x plus square root of x minus 9 equal to 9. Now, let's put this value of 25 into this and see if we are going to be correct. So here now we have root 25, then plus square root of 25 minus 9. 25 and 9 are perfect squares, but do not find their square root separately. You have to subtract before finding the square root. So we're having square root of 25 plus square root of 25 minus 9, which is 16. 
And now let's find the square root. This is 5 plus square root of 16 is 4. And this will give us 9, meaning that we are very correct in our calculation.